Saying yes to owning a second home comes naturally to many people, especially when they start considering turning those properties into investment opportunities. The real question isn't whether or not it is worth it purchasing another property, rather where would the optimal location be? Malta is one place you should consider, and here are the reasons why. Hey there, global citizens. My name is Pedro and I'm with Global Citizen Solutions, a boutique investment migration firm helping expats to find their ideal citizenship by investment program outside their birth country. While an ideal location for an investment in real estate largely depends on your business objectives and personal lifestyle, other factors may have a role in shaping your decision, such as a country's legal system, cost of living, economy, political state, accessibility and connection to the world, amongst other things. Malta combines the best of everything across its three islands. It has top performing real estate market with consistent capital growth and a vast selection of residential and commercial property to choose from. Its warm Mediterranean climate, excellent living standards and political stability make it a prime location for tourism and investments. To top it off, the island nation has low taxation rates and offers incredible tax exemptions for non-residents and foreign investors alike. Malta consists of three islands, Malta, Gozo and Camino, all of which have a wide range of properties to choose from, including modern apartments, historic houses and luxury listings. Now, you might wonder which of the three is the best island for a property investment. And the answer is, it depends. Would you rather city life or the countryside? Boleta and Amdina are good cities to buy homes in, as they boast beautiful architecture, a rich culture and a fast-paced lifestyle. Zeebrugge, Rabat and Gozo, on the other hand, are where you can escape from the city noise and relax in a more traditional village atmosphere. Nevertheless, some of the best investment opportunities can be found in cities such as Salema, St. Julian's and Xira, which are renowned for having a wide range of restaurants, nightlife activities, shopping centers and stunning seaside lookout points. Yet, with all of that being said, each city in Malta has its own unique benefit and charm. The first thing you should do before buying a property in any foreign land is to appoint a lawyer or a property specialist who can guide you through the legalities of your investment. Then you should ideally start your search for a property that satisfies your needs. If you're buying real estate in one of Malta's popular areas, you would have to obtain an acquisition of immovable property permit, which is usually issued within 35 days after you submit your application. But if you're buying property in one of Malta's special designated areas, you won't be needing that permit. You just have to keep in mind that the Maltese government only allows you to purchase one property in its main territories, usually for owner occupancy purposes. However, you can purchase more than one property in the special designated areas. This is very important to note if you're planning on building your real estate empire. Another thing to keep in mind is that under Maltese law, Foreigners are only able to rent out their property if it is valued over 233,000 euros, has a swimming pool and is registered with the hotel and catering establishments board. However, it can only be rented out for short-term lease agreements. The final thing you'll have to consider are the property taxes in Malta. Anyone purchasing a property on Maltese grounds must pay some kind of tax on real estate they acquire. This is usually a 5% stamp duty that is paid during the property transfer. 1% of which is paid on the promise of sale agreement, while the remaining 4% is paid during the final deed of transfer. The process of buying property in Malta comprises 8 simple steps. 1. Hire a notary and start your search. 2. Obtain a promise of sale. Number 3. Pay the deposit fee and the first fifth of the stamp duty. Number 4. Make sure your property has legal title. Number five, gather your finances to make your payment. Number six, sign the property transfer agreement. Number seven, get your keys. And number eight, make sure all the taxes have been cleared by the seller. After that, you may start enjoying your property or leasing it out. As you may know by now, there are plenty of advantages to buying property in Malta. From year-round access to fantastic weather and a booming economy, to low life costs and political stability, to tax benefits and more. The best of all is, if you are willing to up your investment sum enough to qualify, you can apply for the Maltese Citizenship by Naturalization program, 
which would make you eligible for citizenship in as little as 12 to 36 months. And you would still be yielding high returns from your investment. If you would like to learn more about the Multi-Citizenship by Naturalization program or any other investor migration program, just check the links in the description. We believe that everyone has the right to thrive, no matter where home is. And our mission is to match investors to their ideal investment, golden visa program or tax benefit. Learn more at globalcitizensolutions.com. And last but not least, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you on our next video.